Shall we begin as we begin all good things? Uime Otsa, Isina, Iduha Svetaga. Amen. A Lenten Mass at St. Nicholas Croatian Catholic Parish in Millvale. Amen. You may have seen this church driving along Route 28. It sits on a hillside overlooking the highway. It's not very big, neither the building nor the congregation, only about 300 families. But what it lacks in size, it makes up in significance. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. And this is why. Almost every inch of ceiling and wall is covered by murals, frescoes, painted by Croatian artist Maxo Vanka. When Maxo Vanka completed this project, he called it his gift to America. And that's really what it is. It's, it's not just a gift of Croatian ancestry. It's what all of our immigrant ancestors went through and, and some of the sacrifices that were made to develop this country into what it is today. Vanka immigrated to America in Pittsburgh in the 1930s and met Father Albert Jagar of St. Nicholas. The priest commissioned Vanka to paint the murals and the rest is history. On the third day he rose again, so directly above us we have the ascension of Christ. And that's exactly what Vanka beautifully recreated. Not just the history of the Bible, but of war from his home country. The story of immigrant labor in Pittsburgh and of mothers grieving for their sons throughout history. Aaron Sierkowski is a docent who leads tours of the church and he gave me a private tour. Max Ovanka knew the altar would be here and he accommodated for it with these three pieces. We've seen Queen Mary of Croatia wearing the colors of her ethnic country. And he so asked me to take a close American look at the mural of Jesus and Mary on the ceiling above the altar. Notice the strong, almost queen-like Mary. And in fact, that's what Maxo titled above the mural when he writes, Mario Kraci Haravata Molizanas, which is Mary, Queen of Croatians, pray for us. Body of Christ. Father Daniel Whalen has been the Christ. pastor here for six years and remembers walking in for the first time and being Christ. struck by Vanka's passion for the, the common man. This has a very, I would say, social justice atmosphere. Yeah, Maxo was very taken with social justice from the war in Europe and from the industry in the United States at the time, in the 37s and the, and the 40s. Uh, and, and so he really painted that in. He was very much taken by that. There are 25 murals here, the last ones painted in 1941. But time has taken its toll. A corrosive dirt has developed over some of them. Ten have been cleaned and restored, but there are 15 more to go. And at $13,000 per mural, it's an expensive job. Those in the parish and beyond feel this piece of Pittsburgh history, this part church, part art gallery, must be preserved, along with Maxovanka's message. To always have respect for your common man, uh, to take care of uh, those around you and the earth you live in as well is really appropriate here in a church. 